What's going on, Knuckleheads? GCAM Gaming here with a channel update video. That's right, you thought I was going to say with another LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox video, but I didn't. Because this is not necessarily a LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox video, it's a channel update video. Obviously, this being mainly a LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox channel, I will be uh, giving some updates on what's going on with the game as well. But let's get into it and let me let you guys know everything that's going on in the GKM gaming world. First thing, streaming. Just got a capture card, a Turtle Beach headset. Um, I'm using a better, I'm using my girlfriend's computer for streaming. What else did I get? A number of other things that are enabling me to stream. Oh, and I got a GoPro. So I'm actually, I got to pick up some of the wires this weekend. I got a GoPro, so you're going to get to see my face on stream, which is awesome. All right, so streaming is a new thing to my channel. I uh, haven't really been doing streaming much before this, but just recently got into it. As some of you are aware, uh, I've been streaming Lego The Hobbit. That game will be streamed to completion. I'm planning on streaming that every Saturday and Sunday, probably around like 5 o'clock or so. Uh, but I will have an official stream schedule up for that. This weekend, though, do not expect a stream. It's Valentine's Day weekend. You know, I got to take care of the lady, Mrs. GKM. She's got to, you know, she needs her time too. So don't expect a Hobbit stream this weekend. But definitely every weekend, expect Lego The Hobbit streams. But that's not all we're going to be streaming on the channel, right? We're also going to be streaming Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed. I'm going to stream every new event as it comes out. So every Brick Pace, every Master event, every um, All-Star event, whatever. You know, I'll try to make sure to stream those for you guys. So I can be live in the chat while I'm playing the game. Just basically... It's really just more, it's less of a informational thing like our my videos are, and it's more of a, hey, let's hang out, let's, you know, come join the stream, watch me play the game, we'll talk about the game, or watch me play some other Lego-based games. Another game I'm going to be adding to the stream queue soon is going to be Lego Harry Potter. Me and the missus will be two-playering Lego Harry Potter here on the channel. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. I have the complete collection all seven years. Got it pretty cheap on the PlayStation Network as well. So piggybacking off of streaming, right? I'm also streaming, not just on YouTube, I'm streaming on Twitch. So if you guys could do me a solid, head over and give me a follow on Twitch. I'll have the link in the bio. I'll put the link right up here on the screen for you so you guys can see. That's twitch.tv slash gkmban. And the Twitch is going to be, all of the, the LEGO content will be streamed on Twitch as well, but there will be additional gaming content streamed on Twitch. So GKM Gaming is going to be strictly a LEGO game channel. I decided to keep the channel just LEGO games because I know that's what you guys like. You guys like Lego. We might also be doing some other Lego stuff that's not necessarily video games, like now that I have the GoPro, I can do live builds of Lego sets. And I have a lot of kits in my garage that need putting together. So we will be doing live builds and like really like actual Lego stuff here on the channel is also planned for the future. But over on Twitch, I've been streaming Naruto Shinobi Strikers, really like that game. I'm planning on streaming Pathfinder Kingmaker. I have Final Fantasy IX, which is an old PS1 RPG I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to be streaming when I get it, Final Fantasy VII the Remake. Basically anything, any other type of game that's not LEGO will be streamed over on Twitch. So I do want to build that following up over on Twitch. If you guys are interested in watching me stream often and stream other games head on over to twitch give me a follow but the lego games will be streamed right here on youtube so if you're just here for the lego games you know and you want to just follow me on on youtube and not twitch that's fine too hey i appreciate i appreciate what you knuckleheads do period right so that brings me to my next point about what else is going to be going on on that twitch channel we are going to actually be doing every sunday music live streams from the band GKM. Now, that's not necessarily full band yet, but 
Since the whole pandemic thing started, our singer has been doing live streams on Facebook every Sunday and we've built up really a great audience over there. And now that I have Streamlabs going and I can kind of stream on all of the platforms at once, the stream will now be, will not necessarily this Sunday, but soon it will be streamed out to that Twitch channel. It will also go on the Green Knuckle Material YouTube channel, not GKM Gaming. You're not going to see, you're not going to see live music on GKM Gaming. GKM Gaming is just going to be Lego content. Don't you worry about that. But let's talk about how you will know that these streams are coming. Right, so you could just follow the channel and when you get the notification, it pops up, that's fine. But I also post announcements and I'll have a schedule posted up, not only on my YouTube channel, I have a Discord. So that's right, I have been pretty awful at promoting the Discord. So the Discord will also be linked in the description within this video. Go ahead, join the Discord. I just fix it so that people can actually comment and have conversations. I have a few, few of you all are over on the Discord. We don't discuss much over there, but it would be nice to get that community popping off and, and have some chats over there. It's just like, it seems a little redundant talking Lego Legacy in there necessarily because it's like, well, you could just go to the, the Lego Legacy Discord, which I'm pretty active over there. But let's get this other Discord popping off and, you know, all sorts of good stuff going on in there. And now let's talk about Lego Legacy news. Big news for the game that us content creators just found out. They are reinstating the content creators program. Woo, woo, woo. That means we are gonna get to have like Q and A's with the devs, possibly get patch notes beforehand. Uh, I know there, there is a Q and A coming up next week, Tuesday, 10 a.m. Content creators will be having a private Q&A with the devs and more than just Marie, I believe the other devs will be in chat with us answering questions. So we're gonna have a bunch to report on this update and stuff. I'm excited that the content creator program is back, but the bummer is a lot of the content creators in that program have really stopped playing the game and stopped making content on the game. And it's, it's kind of depressing. But I think some of them might come back, uh, not getting anyone's hopes up. But, you know, I'm still in there. Fancy Matt's still in there. The Sicko's still in there, you know, throwing crabs around and doing whatever Sicko does. Uh, bad news is we actually, listen, newer content creators who started making content after the content creator program kind of first launch, we, we went to bat for you and we said, we really want to get some new blood in there. We want to get these, these newer content creators. It's hard to call them newer because they've been doing it for a while uh, out there in the program. They said they're not gonna be able to do it right away. But seriously, if you're a newer content creator, pro, uh, you're a newer content creator and you're not in the program, reach out to me. I'll, I'll try my best to keep you in the loop. I'll talk to them about uh, how in the loop I can keep you guys. Uh, and I'm sure the other content creators would not have a problem with that as well, but we are one community. We gotta help each other out here. The last thing I really wanted to report on was a while back, maybe a couple months ago, I did a poll for the to vote for the top 10 most wanted collectible minifigures to come into LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox. I have not forgotten about that video. It's just that video takes a lot more work to put together. There's a lot more behind the scenes stuff that goes into making you know, the, the Google Slides doc and everything that I, because I really want the video to be nice and look nice and come out a certain way. Similar to how I did the, my top six most wanted. It's just, I haven't had the motivation to make that video yet. But with the update coming and they said there was going to be new figures revealed in the update, I feel like I got to get you guys that video before this update comes. So I am going to be chomping at the bit next week. I got a couple days off of work in the beginning of the week. So I'll be getting all sorts of content together for you guys. Uh, and that's pretty much all I got for you today, knuckleheads. Please remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell for some notifications. And as always, remember to knuckle up. Yeah, so I know.